Thank you, Mr. Akarsh Vatsa, for sharing this amazing tool with us. Hello, guys. How are you? I hope you all are well and doing good. Now I'm opening Notepad. Task bar title Notepad text edit. Wow. You hear a great sound. Now I'm closing this task bar and moving to our cursor to the desktop. Folder view projects four of twenty eight. Now I'm opening the NVIDIA settings. NVDA. And now I'm pressing down arrow. Reference tools to help sub configuration revert the saved configuration R. Okay. Now I'm opening Chrome. Taskbar. New tab. Google Chrome. Toolbar. Address. Okay. Task. So you are listening to sounds with our NVIDIA. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the sound scheme with your NVIDIA. Though I don't like this because it creates unnecessary, uh, it takes unnecessary spaces in my PC and also it creates unnecessary noises, which is very uh, problematic at, at least for me when I'm working as a professional. But still, you can enjoy the sound schemes. So how to use, if you want to know more, please watch this video till the end. And I'll provide the link of this tool or of this add-on in the video description below as well as our official WhatsApp and Telegram channel. So don't forget to join us on WhatsApp and Telegram. Link is given in the video description below. That's all this side from Accessible Computing. Let's start. So I have already installed this add-on. Now I will show you the configuration of the settings of this add-on. To do so, I am pressing Insert plus N to go to NVIDIA menu. NVDA. Then press P for Preference. Settings S. Then press S for Settings. NVDA Settings General Normal. Wow. So in Settings, you will find the add-on name. Now I am pressing down arrow until I find Audio, vision, keyboard, mouse, set, review, input, object, browse, mode, document, document, windows, o, advanced, whatsapp, typing, navigation, sound, language, navigation, sounds, 18 of 20. Navigation sounds. So this is the add-on name or this is the add-on options. You can find a lot of options here. Now I'm pressing tab here. Navigation sounds, property page, select sound, default collapse. Select sound. So here you can select the default, uh, the sound scheme. Okay. What are the sounds available in every scheme? I will show you how you can check. So by default, I have checked this default. Another is KF. KF. Talkback. Talkback. So if you select talkback, then the talkback sound schemes will be activated. Voiceover. If you want to use the voiceover, then the voiceover sound schemes will be activated. I will not show everything because it is self-explanatory. Talk a default. So I am keeping it as default then. Say roles not checked. Say roles. Say states checked. Say states. Navigation sounds checked. Okay, navigation sounds checked. Keyboard typing sound not checked. Keyboard typing sound as I'm using the typing settings add-on. So I am not checking this box, but by default, when you install this add-on, this box is checked. So you can use this add-on instead of using two different add-ons if you like to use this sound schemes with your NVDA. Next. Enable typing sounds in text boxes only not checked. Enable typing sounds in text boxes only. So it will enable the typing sounds when your focus is on an edit box. Select typing sound Android keyboard 2 collapsed. Then this is the sound which you can choose from this combo box like Android keyboard. As I'm not using this so I'll not show. Open sounds folder. Then open sounds folder. If you press enter then it will open the sound folder where you can listen all the sound schemes available in this tool. So I'm pressing enter to open the folder. Effects, items view, nav sounds not selected. You see nav sounds means navigation sounds. The pink sound two of two. Nav, the pink sound two Typing of two. sounds, I mean typing sounds. Okay, so I'm pressing enter on typing sounds. Items view, two, one blue switch, one of eight. Blue switch. Two red switch, two A of eight. Red switch. Three brown switch, three brown of eight. switch. Android keyboard, one, four Android of eight. Android keyboard. Okay, so these are the folders of every sounds 
and uh, when you press enter here let's Three say android, android keyboard two five of eight android key let's say i'm pressing enter here items and now see the typing two dot one of one two. number red type so if i press enter here it will open with our default media player application media player media player play all to be so listen carefully pa pause play Pause, play, pause, 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 play. This sounds, you will get a sound, right? This sound, see. Speech mode off. Okay, so this is the sound. Speech mode, the speech mode. I now I am closing this. I three browns. Similarly, I if I go to the snap sounds, I, don't I have several options. Default one of four. Default AF KF. Two of four. Talk back three of four. Talk back and voice over four of four. Voice over. So if I press enter in uh, voice over. Then see. Pain focus checkbox clock dot checkbox dot wav clock, clock dot wav three of it. So if you press enter. Media player media player. See. Speech mode off. Listen. Okay. Spe speech mode. So this is how you can what? check every sounds. I am not doing this because this will take a long time. Now, uh, whatever sounds you want to use, you can choose. And I'm just changing this. Let's say from default to KF. KF. Talk back. KF. So I'm choosing KF. Say nav keyboard enable select type open sounds folder. Donate. Okay. Task so click bar. on OK. Uh, now see, I'm opening the notepad. Plan. Now you will get this sound. Task bar. Now I'm going to desktop. Folder view. Project. You will get this sound. So let's say if I change this NBC sound to five people input at lap nav typing settings nav type top nav navigation talk back voiceover talk back talk back let's see or Voice. voiceover let's say task bar now see untitled notepad blank now Task. the sounds change right folder view list projects for zoom and the local opera GXX gold gray sun adobe three so this is the sound for voiceover if you choose the voiceover scheme. Then you will get these sounds. Though I am not recommending to use these sound schemes if you are working in any professional environment, like if you are working in office, because that is a that uh, impacts on your productivity. But still, if you want to enjoy these sound schemes, then it's good to go. That's it, guys. That's it for today. I hope this video is a little bit entertaining than learning so please share your thoughts into the comment section and like this video and share this video also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more videos and if you want to get more technical knowledge like this thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then bye bye